Today guys we check out a new legendary, an item I haven't paid much attention to and yes, more for me. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I'll be doing another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps me out and subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this yourself, follow the instructions on screen now and good luck. Now thanks to my pal Avril Arrow 99 for bringing this to my attention, he sent me a video by Thick Phil A which showcases a new legendary shield. He does a great showcase and review of the shield and his channel can be found linked within the video description. He's also a Zane main so go show him some love. Now I won't lie, I've heard of the shield but never really paid much attention to it. I got it, put it in my vault and just forgot about it. Now seeing this dude's video on it I realised why I seemingly forgot about it and that's because it's a one time drop per Mox's highest DLC completion. It's a mission reward drop, the mission is all bets off and you can only run this once per campaign completion unless you play on PC and back up those files or do the old PS4 trick with saving your file and so forth and it might work on Xbox too, something I've tried in the past with another game and deleted half my save so I stay away from them but on PC I know it's super easy to do and quite safe. But without those means you would have to run through the entire DLC again on an alternate character to get it drop again. Now the thing about this shield and probably the reason I took no notice of it is because the fact a quick glimpse at the thing and it doesn't seem that great on paper, especially if it isn't anointed. But in fact it's quite the opposite, this thing is quite a capable shield it really is. 50% chance to reflect projectiles while shielded, 80% chance to reflect projectiles while not shielded. This anointed to Zane, perfect for my current setup. You want to live forever? This is a reference to Starship Troopers, the main character is called Rico and a part of the movie he says and I quote, come on you apes, you want to live forever? So that alone makes this an amazing shield. Now the shield itself gives me those sham feels if you remember that from BL2. That muscle absorbed bullets whereas these deflect them back at enemies. Now the variant I had of the shield you can see on screen now, it's the Arc Battery Rico but thanks to my pal Rangers Mad 69 for sending me this one which sits perfect in my current Zane build, so shout out to him. Now again thanks to Thick Filet for sharing info on this shield, as it does indeed save much time in testing it myself. He found that what this shield indeed does upon it working and deflecting bullets back at their enemies is indeed apply any damage bonus you have active on your build. So for instance, if you have a grenade which applies 50% bonus corrosive damage upon action skill end, this actually applies to bullets that enemies fire at you but ricochet back at them. And you can see this in action on screen now with the two damage numbers flaking off this enemy. What this also does is pair greatly with the seeing dead class mod as bullets that have deflected back at enemies can trigger the usage of your kill skills thanks to that seeing dead class mod which is absolutely amazing. And it also works while you're in that fight for your life instance as being shot activates your kill skills and also ricocheted shots also obviously help in killing the enemy you're shooting at to get that second chance. Now the shield itself is a very good and capable shield but I feel this kind of shield requires a build to work along it. It wouldn't fit into everyone's builds that is for sure. This is 100% a defensive shield but in terms of helping deal damage because although it does what it says on the tin it isn't very effective in terms of actually dealing that damage by ricocheting bullets back. Using it on Mayhem 4 it didn't help much at all, the damage from the ricocheted shots just isn't effective enough in my opinion. Hence why a lot of the testing you can see here is on Mayhem 1 so we can see actually how this thing works. What this shield does do is work great in turn with build setups concentrating more so on defence and working forward from that point. The shield does indeed work best on Zane in my opinion, there are a few other Vault Hunters I feel this could do good things with but for me, off the top of my head and the things Zane does and indeed needs and the combo possibilities, this is a shield we will see more so on Zane. Now this video review is of my initial thoughts on this shield, I do have a few builds in mind which could possibly be fun but those need to be tested a little further before anything else is uploaded people. But yes the recoil shield is a one time drop per Moxie's highest completion for doing the mission all bets off. It's a new legendary shield in my opinion centred around defence. 
I would put it in the same category as shields such as the Transformer and the Backham. The Backham more so of this kind of shield though. And I for the most part would not choose this over the Transformer but that's just me. It's just not a shield I feel you can rely on alone to actually save you while in any form of semi hard combat. But in saying that, it is very unique and I'm 100% certain this thing has much more to offer. So testing on my behalf continues people. Now I have learned that using this alongside Distributed Denial, a part of the barrier uh, undercover skill tree, the bullets do ricochet off the barrier and bounce back to those enemies. This is something I am definitely going to build something around, so stay tuned for that people. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.